Hi. Um, so I'm here to answer some questions about um, how our remote learning open session went. And um, uh, open sessions have been going on in the middle school um, for years now. It's a part of our routine. Um, we do it once to twice a month. And we thought, now in this remote learning platform, why should it be any different? Um, especially because uh, routines uh, pr provide a sense of normalcy for, um, you know, something that's very not normal right now. Um, and on top of everything that's going on in the world, what better time to do an open session? Um, we wanted to provide the opportunity for students to um, get support from each other and uh, hear uh, words of wisdom or encouragement um, from their own peer group and not just these adults that are constantly saying, um, you know, things. Um, at first when we were thinking about open session, we were, uh, one, concerned if the students would open up on this online platform. Um, you know, there is definitely some sense of, you know, this isn't normal, uh, maybe not trustworthy. Um, and so that was one reservation that I had, um, and other teachers, we then decided, okay, what's, uh, a way to still keep that anonymity? Um, and so we created, I created a Google form, um, and I just, uh, preempted the kids to think of it as their card. So the same way that they would write down their joys, their concerns, um, um, you know, uh, anything that they wanted to share. And so I created that. I sent it out the day before so they could actually process it. And um, they came flooding in just, I mean, I, I think we were up to, um, you know, 40 something cards, meaning that there was kids that did too. Um, and so that was definitely something um, that I was worried about. But um, as they came in, um, I started reading it and um, it's kind of led to what was a little bit of a surprise, um, but not, I guess now that I think about it, is that, um, you know, there's a lot of pain, anxiety, um, worry uh, in these cards. And then I was thinking, how am I going to um, be able to process this with the kids? And so the first thing I thought of is that I'm going to group them in categories and I'm actually going to send them to the, again, this is still all anonymous. Um, I was going to send them to the other eighth grade teachers that are teaching right now online who see these kids every day so that they could understand where these students were coming from. Um, those teachers also join in the open session. We, like normal, we were not going to be uh, a part of it. This is for the students. Um, we were just only there to uh, be a, um, a mediator, you know, in the process. Um, so a, a few things that I found um, challenging, surprising, or, you know, uh, graceful during the process was um, one the like I said the number of cards so I was thinking about time trying to get through them but luckily many of them I could categorize together so one was just about you know uh, the change in this online platform um, another one was about COVID-19 and supporting kind of sick family members so I was able to categorize them um, there was so much pain <laughs> uh, worry and um, you know, anxiousness in these cards. And so, um, I was trying to prepare for that, um, in this time frame. And luckily there was some very, um, fun cards and humor, humorous, like kind of joking cards, um, you know, just about average middle school kind of life too. Um, for instance, dating or anything like that. Um, so one thing that kind of stood out to me during this process was how to mediate um, the level of um, kind of emotions through it. So really reading those cards to kind of bring uplifting moments at the right times. Um, and so by seeing the cards in advance, I could kind of plan for that or kind of scroll through. Um, and then also, of course, ending with a positive one. 
Um, and the other thing that I probably um, would, you know, advise anyone doing this is that, you know, usually we don't, as adults, talk much during this. Again, we read the cards, we provide the time. Um, as a facilitator, I felt like I probably spoke a little bit more just to add clarity, like, uh, you know, for instance, if there was a dull moment, there was a lot of like downtime or down um, air time, no one was talking. And so being able to um, let that be and be okay with that, um, but then just saying, hey, I wonder if this student was or this person um, was thinking of this in that way. And that aided in the conversation a little bit more to get responses coming in. Um, so that was helpful. So really the pacing, planning, you know, the balance of uplifting cards versus um, some of, you know, pain. Um, so that, um, I, I guess just through the experience of facility and open sessions, it kind of came a little bit more natural to me, but I would definitely advise anyone going through this to um, kind of plan that out. Um, after the open session, the day after, I sent out a Google form to uh, get responses and feedback for the good and the bad, um, what might be changed about this remote learning open session platform. And overwhelmingly, the kids said it went great. Um, no one really gave any you know, advice. Um, I think maybe we could use, and I used the chat form so kids could respond to that. Um, students really didn't use it. They, a few of them did. And I think some of them, I would maybe encourage that more um, if they wanted to, if they didn't want to. And then I could read those responses out loud. Um, but overwhelmingly, the kids are great and they want more of it, um, especially given the circumstances of our world. So that is something that um, I'll probably look to keep doing. So uh, yeah, thank you. And I'm looking forward to more open sessions. <laughs>